Good evening, this is Bell Geode, and we are back with Black Desert Online and Gita. So we made it to Kama Sylvia in the last episode. And we did a little bit of exploring, but I've got even more exploring that I would like to do. So we're going to get off of this uh, altar of training, which clearly I'm um, obviously not the right level to start doing training. And this griffin has been staring at me the entire time, so I don't know what's up with that. But I want to see if there is like a city or a town or something like that that I can get to. I believe that there is. I just have to find it. Um, according to the site that I'm looking at online, it's called the Ancient Tree of Wisdom. And I believe it is along the same route that we were going before, except a little further down. So we're going to attempt to make it there. And once we make it there, if it is in fact a decent sized town, we may just call it for this uh, little mini-series for right now. Provided, of course, my FPS doesn't go crazy. Like it seems to be doing right now. Why is it going crazy? I have no idea. I never have any issues with this game. Yeah, all of a sudden, everything just went all battered crazy. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so let's get down Skyrim Mountain here, if we can. There we go. We're back to normal. I think... Wow. Okay. That was wild. What in the hell is that? No, seriously, what is that? Obviously there's a player there. I think that's part of the whole training thing. Let's watch this for a second. So, is that the training? You basically fight some funky-looking red monster? You and your friends? Oh, don't bring him up here. I don't want him. I do not want him. I'm out. Okay, we're just gonna keep on moving and pretend we didn't see a damn thing. Okay, so we'll come back up here once we are the proper level and do whatever it is that we're going to need to do up here. But for the time being, we're going to head back down the hill and see if we can locate this ancient tree of wisdom, which supposedly is more than just a tree, but also an actual city. And actually, is there a quicker way to get down here? I don't know. Let's check the map. Okay, this is Catawill Forest. That, I believe, is our starting location to see if we can make it to this ancient tree of wisdom. We're going to need to go past that lake at the bottom of the screen, which is now in the center of the screen. And according to my map, it is somewhere in the gray area. There should be two paths that diverge from there. We'll take the southernmost path. There's that Kazarka again. I think that was the name of the temple that I was in a couple episodes ago, was the Kazarka Temple. Oh, there's a guy up here. Oh, wait, no, I think that's that farm. Unless there's just like a hermit hanging out around here. Can't tell. I thought I saw something, though. Pretty sure I saw a question mark. Yes, I did! What are you doing all the way up here, little girl? Listen to the winds that climb up the mountains. Uh, no. How I don't you? want to. Have you ever seen such a sight before? No, I have not. 
but it did open up that entire area, so I'm good with that. Thank you. All right. Um, hmm. I don't suppose we can get down the mountain this way. Nope, looks treacherous. We'll go back this way. It's just some weird kid and a cat person standing on top of a mountain. I don't know what the story is behind that, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I gotta say, I am liking this whole Kama Sylvia area. It'll be good once I get here at the proper level, but we're only level 52. We need to be at least level 58. It's going to be a while before we get there. And this is the little farm, Viv Ferretta's cabin. We saw that the last time. We're just going to keep on going. Nice lake, though. I like that. And that is still the same player and their horse. Apparently they're fishing. We'll just leave them to do their thing. This is where those weird purple lizards were. Yep, there they are. We are so not going to mess with them. Okay, I believe there are some enemies down this way, so we're going to need to be really careful. There is a path that goes that way, though. You know me. i got to go off the beaten path here. Oh, boy. Don't know what that is. Don't want to find out. Going back this way. Wait. If I were to just let the path do its thing, where does it say we have to go? Okay, so that just backtracks us back to Atanis Pond. Alright, yeah, we don't need to go that way. I'm not about to get uprooted by trees here. Little pun that I made for you. Okay, here's where those funky critters are. Ah, uh, spiders. I hate spiders. Whoa! Holy crap! Okay, gotta run! Good thing I bought potions, huh? That was a Kama Sylvia brown bear. So that was like one of Yogi's magical relatives there. He's probably pissed at the fact that I kept killing his buddies in the regular area. Spider! Jump! Nobody has time for spiders. I'm not even messing with a little ferret looking thing. Probably a bad idea. Okay, this I believe is where we need to be. Yeah, we're back in the Cadwell Forest. Okay, and now we're going to need to head this way. So, let me find a quick spot to mark on the map. Okay, how about there? We'll see where the path goes. Man, this area is really beautiful quite like it. There's paths everywhere, too. Seems like it would be easy to get lost in this place. Never know, those may be uh, famous last words of mine. Hi, what are you doing? You just chilling? Okay, well, you continue your lookout.
Okay, the path is veering off to the right, but I think I said I needed to go left. Uh, let's check the map again. Let's rotate it around so that south is to the south. Yeah, I think we need to go to the right. There's a river here that we need to follow just south. So I'm going to change our marker to like right there. I think that's the direction we need to head. Um, I'm going this way though. Yes, I'm deliberately not following the marker. I'm going on a hunch here, folks. Okay, looks like our path updated, so we're headed in the right direction now. I'm almost half tempted to try and see if I can attack one of these weasels. I don't know how that's going to work. We'll try this guy here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Try another couple. Hey, at least we're getting XP for this. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. But then, they are just weasels. Hmm, what do we have here? Looks like a marker. I still haven't figured out what these things are yet. I mean, they're obviously fountains, magical fountains or something. There is a lake down here, too. Yeah, it looks like there's spiders or something down there, so, um, mm -mm. Nope! Ah, I see a bridge. Where there's a bridge, there's usually civilization. Or at least a path leading to. Come on, give me some knowledge here. It's good to know that not everything is level, oh my god. But stuff is actually killable here if you're, you know, a decent level. I'd hate to come here with, like, my level 21 character. Hello! Don't mind me coming through. Aha! Wait, the trade manager is an owl? Are you kidding me? The hell is this, Harry Potter? And hi, nice outfit. The trader with common sense and integrity, Obi Bellen here to serve. A talking owl. Okay then. Clearly the person I need to speak with is up here somewhere. Hmm. Aha! Wait, what? I don't need to talk to the bird, do I? If the owl can talk. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Now what is all of this over here? I'm wondering if the city I'm looking for is over in that direction. Hi, you have anything to say? Everyone has fair access to wisdom. Just like this road you walked on. Okay, that's... brilliant. And apparently they're healing the birds or something along those lines. Alright, before I get too caught up in this, 
Oh crap. I'm like totally off the map here. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna keep following this river. Shady Tree Forest. We'll keep an eye out for question marks as well, because question marks usually indicate NPCs that we can talk to. That'll give us knowledge of the area. Provided, of course, there's no prerequisite missions or anything like that. Whoa! Okay, dead end. Let's go up. Oh boy, I see a bear. Yeah, we're gonna head back to the road now. Excuse me, weasel! There's another griffin over there. Gotta be close to this place, I would imagine. Hmm. I mean, why would they put these markers along the road if it didn't lead somewhere, you know? That's my theory. I'm sticking to it. Ah, let's go left. A maroon raccoon. Interesting. I'm hearing all kinds of noises off to the side. It's a little unsettling. Apparently there's no use checking the map anymore, but there is that river down there. Ah, oh, what is that? What is that? Okay, we're gonna need to find that. I'm hoping there's a bridge to cross this river at some point. Hmm. This way, maybe? Well, this appears to be a dead end. Okay, so it's obviously not that way. Oh, okay, there's the little gazebo thing. There's two of them. Huh. Could this be the city I'm looking for? Well, here's the bridge that I was looking for, anyway. Ah, uh, that's blocked off. That's blocked off, too. Oh, come on! Okay, well, can I at least get to this area here? I'm going to assume the answer is yes. Nice! That's a sweet little gazebo. Alright, Kodak moment. Okay, but the problem that I have right now is everything in the direction of the arrow is blocked off. So we can only stay on this side of the river. The problem that I have is the city that I'm trying to get to is supposedly on this side of the river. But I don't know how far down. There should be a lake just to the north, and I want to say we may have passed that lake. So I'm thinking we need to go back up this way. Oh, come on, Gita. It's not like you haven't fallen before. I'm pretty sure that this uh, village, or city if you want to call it that, is in the area 
that we were given. Just gotta find it. Huh. Let's go this way. So one of two things are going to happen. Either we'll find the tree city or we'll end up in another blocked off area. This area looks kind of spooky. And it's blocked off. Well, there's a shocker. Yep, totally blocked off. Hmm, okay. Well, at least we've reached the limits of where we can go. Alright, let's try this way. I don't even know what direction we're going here. We are headed north. Don't know what that is, don't want to know. I have a funny feeling we're going to come up against another invisible wall here. Oh, what is that? Whatever it is, it's blocked off. Crap! I sincerely hope that's not the place we're trying to reach. Oh, what is all this? Narvan Steppe. Those look like hyenas. Hmm. The Narvan Steppe is supposedly past where we need to be. And yeah, I saw that snake. That's why I'm running. It's got to be back this way. It's the ancient tree of wisdom that we're looking for. It's just to the east of the steps. Hmm. Okay, let's hang a left. Let me see, are these the steps again? Yeah. Those are the steps. This is definitely the right neighborhood. I just don't know why I'm not finding it. it should be right down here. Whoa, are those panthers? Holy crap, there are panthers in the woods. And there's a bear. Probably gonna see me. Hmm. Aw, poor birdie. Birdie's dead. That's a wild horse. Unfortunately, I do not need wild horses today. <laughs> Poor Skettle keeps trying to jump up on me and I keep denying him. Hmm. Still haven't seen that lake pop up. There is definitely supposed to be a lake here. I think that's part of the steps again. It should dogleg to the left, and then when it doglegs to the left, the sacred city should be close by. 
Oh wait, what is all this? Aha! I think we're on to something here. Hello, folks. Don't mind me. I'm cold, I'm wet, and I desire to take a picture with all of you fine young elves. And Skettle jumping up. Alright, thank you for the picture! Okay. Sorry for the little jump cut there. However, I had a technical issue where it stopped recording and I had no idea that that had actually happened. But, make a long story short, this is the place we are looking for. And to make things even more interesting, do you remember that talking owl earlier in the episode that we passed? Yeah, apparently he was the start of this area, which means I literally went around this entire zone to look for this area that I was already at. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I know I've been playing a little bit too much Black Desert and it's probably time to quit. Okay, so everybody I've already spoken with, there's no point in me talking to them again, but we've got a stable hand here. We've got the blacksmith over there to repair my armor. We've got the Chocobo army back that way. And this is the wisdom tree that these folks uh, worship. And there's the trade owl. I spoke to this owl and then promptly went off in that direction. Not even thinking that this might be the area that I was even looking for. But yeah, we made it. We're here. We're safe. And there's a lady in here that I still need to talk to, but I don't think the I can talk to. The wisdom tree is known to have grown this far with energy from the shady tree spirits. Yeah, I need to complete the Kama Sylvia quest. But anyway, this is the old wisdom tree here. We've got a storage keeper here. I might add, there are no houses. There is just storage. No houses at all in this area. So, I'm not sure if this is what passes as a city for them, or if this is just like their own sacred city, or if maybe if we do the quests, we might get access to a house down the road. Really don't know, but suffice it to say, we made it. We are here at their sacred wisdom tree, so this is exactly where I'm going to call it quits for this little mini-series right about now. There's not much more that I can really show you, so we'll just kind of park ourselves up here. Kito, you climb up. And can you sit? No, sit. Ugh, she's not going to sit. Nope, she's going to kneel. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe we can just chill. All right. So that, folks, will do it for me and for this little uh, mini-series that we've been doing here. So I hope you've enjoyed it. And clearly I can't even take off a lantern. There we go. Now it's not so bright. All right, Gita, let's try this again. All right, so yes, that will do it for our little mini-series. We made it safely into Kama Sylvia, into the main town that we were looking for. And we managed to see a lot of really good sights along the way. So, my next task, off camera, is going to be to get myself up to the levels that I need to be at in order to complete all of these quests and actually be here for real, for real. But, that is a story left for another time. So I thank you as always for watching. This has been Bell Geode. I have been playing Black Desert Online with my beloved Valkyrie Gita here in Kama Sylvia. If you like what you've seen, please feel free to give me a like. Don't forget to su subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will be back at some point in time in the future with some more Black Desert Online. But for now, I will tell you all, ciao!